Okay, so let's set our Oculus Quest into developer mode. So this can be Quest 1, Quest 2. I mean, you could do this with the Oculus Go if you're still using that device as well. And I guess you could do it with the Quest Pro that will be launching very soon as well. And this is great if you want to make games, you want to make apps. Plus, if you want to do stuff like side load games, applications, mods, using something like side quest, you need to make sure it's in developer mode. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is open up your web browser and you need to search for Oculus Developer Dashboard. I've already got it there. Click on first link. I'll provide a link in the description. And this step can actually be done via the, you know, via, via your laptop. But the remaining step which is to enable developer mode has to be done on your phone and he has to be connected to the account that you use to not the actual phone but the actual MetaQuest app it's called MetaQuest now so if you haven't used it for a while and it was called Oculus Quest it's called MetaQuest now make sure that app is updated to the latest version and make sure it's on the same account that you originally used you'll be using that particular app okay so first of all we need to create an organization this is for developing purposes. Even if you are side loading, you still need to do this because you need to create an organization to be able to in enable developer mode. So this is very important. And in the bottom left, you'll see an icon. If you click that, and now the it expands up. If you're on like a bigger screen, like a laptop or a computer, you probably won't need to do that. From here in the org manager, click the drop down. I'll hide the keyboard, click create. As you can see, I've got loads of organizations. Always end up creating a new one every time I do, you know, a video like this. Click create and just put, you know, the organization. So I'm going to put, I am Superman. Yeah, whoa, that's already taken. I am Superman123. Seems to be available. Click I understand. And I'm going to close this menu. Click submit. Uh, click agree, submit, and that's it. Let's just confirm. Yes, it's created. That's it. That's all you need to do on your account. If you went to this website, the developer dashboard, it wasn't logged in. So if I go to incognito, Oculus developer dashboard, if this appeared for you, just click login and login using whatever method you want you can use facebook instagram or just you know a separate email address i just used facebook but doesn't really matter so if that comes up just do that and then you'll come to this menu and then from here you can create the organization next step this is the final step go to the meta quest app again remember make sure that is updated to the latest version and i recommend that your oculus quest or oculus device is also updated to the latest version as well so if i open that up in the bottom right there's the menu button click that and go to devices and in here from the drop down as you can see it's selecting MetaQuest 2 which has connected if you have a different one just select the drop down and select the device if i scroll down there's a developer mode option click that developer mode if i click the checkbox on the or is it it's, it's a toggle button like a radio button yeah it's a toggle button on the right hand side if i click that that's it you are now in developer mode there is nothing more to do so you can just check make sure if i was to close it reopen it go to menu devices scroll down developer mode that's it we are in developer mode so that's all you have to do to enable developer mode on your oculus device which allows you to side load games apps mods like for custom songs on Beat Saber, for example, I'll have a separate video for that. I'm gonna have separate updated videos also for the side quest as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group, which has almost 8,000 members. There's a link in the description, there'll be a link in the description to the developer dashboard. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.